full. Easy cooking. Yes, that's my new channel's name. Spoonful, easy cooking. So let me show you a very easy immunity boost recipe today. That is gooseberry in brine. Yes, brine is nothing but it, uh, water and salt and high concentration of salt. So I have kept a uh, little water for boiling. We need to boil this water and put salt to it. So let me just show you initially itself how much salt we need. We put salt so that the gooseberry is preserved well. So what, the ingredients what we need is fresh gooseberry which is rich in vitamin C and it has got high nutrition value. It has got um, high rich, it is rich in antioxidant, uh, good for your heart, good for your skin, hair. It's a superfood again I've come up with and very good for diabetic people. Uh, high, really highly nutritious and protects your brain and all your body parts. We need green chili, two or three as per your spice level you can spice it up. Generally in Kerala what we use for gooseberry in brine is kandari molaga but Unfortunately, I don't have fresh kandari malaga. Just to show you, kandari malaga is nothing but the small uh, chilies, which is popular, which in India we popularly get in um, Kerala, you know, Meghalaya, Assam and other. In English, it is called as, I think, Thai chili or bird's eye chili. Ah, our water is getting boiled. I kept it in advance so that I can show you how much we need to boil the water. So that's where our bot water is getting boiled. Let it, bo let it boil very well. We need for this, uh, the water needs to get boiled. We'll just simmer the gas for some time. So here, uh, if, you, if you get Kandari Malago or, you know, what you say, the uh, Thai chili, it's the best for this recipe because it, uh, it has got also very good health benefit. It helps to increase uh, appetite and it's very effective in um, controlling cholesterol level. So I just wanted to do this recipe and unfortunately I didn't have the fresh ones. Just to show you I kept this. But no problem we can keep this uh, chili and make this. So what we need to do is when the water gets rolling boil we have to switch off. I had kept it in advance so that I don't waste much time. So when this water gets boiled, we need to cool down the water. It needs to be really lukewarm. So we have kept this water for uh, cooling. Meanwhile, what I want to show you is, need to take a glass jar. Glass jar is the best to preserve these gooseberries. So we have to wipe it very well and dry it completely. And this gooseberry is washed thoroughly and we need to dry each one of with a cloth or a tissue paper and uh, it needs to be completely dry. If it is a uh, little wet or there is water content, the gooseberry's shelf life will be very less and it will really get spoiled. Yeah, so this is washed and what we need to do as uh, it, the water is not yet Cooled. I will show you I have preserved and kept already my uh, gooseberry of my home. What we need to do, fill the lukewarm. It, is, it should be completely cool, not even lukewarm. It should be completely cool and you need to pour it into the glass jar and we need to add these dried gooseberry to the glass jar. It need, our hands also need to be very clean. The shelf life of this Gooseberry in brine is approximately uh, 5 to 6 weeks. If you want it to be more preserved for a long time, then you can add 1 teaspoon of vinegar. Vinegar will help to preserve it for more time. But I normally don't put vinegar. We can just take this uh, gooseberry after 2 to 3 weeks and give it to each family member. It's rich in vitamin C and the best source of antioxidant and to boost your immunity yes I am repeating it because it's very essential these days we are really worried about the health what is going on 
So our recipe is done. And if you have any doubts, please do let me know through comment box. And I will be posting the ingredients what is required. It's nothing. Very simple in the description box. And I hope all of you try it. Give each amla or the gooseberry to your whole family so that they are having rich with source of vitamin C. Thank you. I will come back again with a new recipe.